Hi there guys, Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Today we're going to be taking a look at minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio shapes. And what we're going to do is we're going to play them across the entirety of the fretboard. So in all positions. Because the minor 7 flat 5 has four different notes, if we start on each note of the scale and play the arpeggio, obviously we end up with four different arpeggio shapes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, what I just played at the start there was uh, a 2-5, a minor 2-5. So it's a minor 7 flat 5 to a dominant chord. So we'll get to that in due course. Firstly though, before we do anything else, I just want to point you in the direction of my website. It's currently 30% off all downloads. Link is in description box below. All right, let's get straight to it. I've chosen a key. We're going to do, um, well, I've chosen the first chord. We're going to do an F sharp minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio. So we're going to start here at fret 2. So the formula for any minor 7 flat 5 arpeggios, arpeggio is as follows. 1, flat 3, flat 5, flat 7. So on the fretboard, that translates as 1, flat 3, flat 5, flat 7, root. Okay. We're going to do it across all six strings um, vertically, so it will look like this. First position, so root position. Once again, a bit slower. Now we're going to move to the first inversion, so we're going to start on the, the flat three. Okay, so flat three, flat five, flat seven, root, and so on. Okay, second inversion, starting on the flat five, looks like this. Okay, good. Then finally the third inversion, so starting on the flat seven, looks like this. Once more. Okay, so that's all four together. Okay, good. So the, you notice there's no gaps on the fretboard. We're covering the entire fretboard. And you want to be completely com comfortable with that arpeggio um, wherever you are on the fretboard. So you've got to practice these, connect all these shapes together, um, and just spend as much time as you can on, on doing it. You know, it'll open up the fretboard a lot more for you. Um, especially if you're a rock player, this kind of arpeggio shape is not, not used that often. It's kind of shied away from because it's seen as, you know, a little bit more complex and harder to use. It's not. It's actually a wonderful arpeggio with lots of different applications. We won't go into all of them right now, but I'm just going to show you something that I like to practice. Instead of practicing them in order, root, position, first inversion, second inversion, third inversion, what I like to do is pl play a specific chord sequence, like I, I'm alluding to that arpeggio that I played at the start of the video, so 2-5, minor 2-5, so it's minor 7 flat 5 to a dominant chord. So in this instance, at the top here, what I played was um, a 2-5, so F sharp, minor 7 to B7, which is the 5, okay? So we're not going to the 1 in this instance, so, which would be a minor chord. So we're just taking the, the 2 and the 5. So here, Okay, that's F sharp minor 7 flat 5 to the dominant chord. And this is in first inversion. So you have to be au fait with the, the dominant inversions too. I've done videos on these before, so you can go and, 
go and check those out. So we're going to do... Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to move it up a whole tone each time. Uh, and so on. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to move the arpeggios backwards. And it's great that the way they move, because the way that they connect is that we're going to play third inversion, second inversion, first inversion, then root of the minor 7 flat 5, okay? Uh, for the dominant chord, it goes um, first inversion, root, third inversion, second inversion, okay? And that's how we're going to connect them. So if I do it nice and slowly. Whoops. Dominant chord. Okay, so technically we're, now we're going to move up a tone, but we're going to play a uh, third inversion of the minor 7 flat 5. Sorry, second inversion. Sorry about that. Then root position of the dominant chord. Okay. And then second inversion of the minor 7 flat 5 by moving down a step. Okay. Then we're going to do here the third inversion of our dominant chord. So that once more. Um, good. Now we're going to move down to root position of our minor 7 flat 5 to second inversion of the dominant chord. And then you can continue it on, but we've covered all four inversions there. So let me play it all together, nice and steady. There we go. That's just an app, one application of many uh, that we can apply the minor seven flat five arpeggio to, so that we're we're practicing it in a different way, rather than just ascending in order. Um, so hopefully that's given you something to practice. Make sure you work hard on practicing that minor seven flat five. Like I said before, lots of different applications of this wonderful arpeggio that we will get into in due course. Anyway, great to be back doing YouTube videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.